wife of Lagos State Governor inducts female council chairman, wives of chairman as tuberculosis champions and ambassadors. Federal government names Dangote Refinery a sole supplier of aviation fuel. On the foreign sea, United Kingdom seeks to move migrants held on security of Highland. And in sport, Super Eagles interim coach expresses team's readiness to win 2025 African fixture against Libya. Now the details. I am Sarah Adesoya. Local government chairman and wives of local government chairmen across the 57 local government areas of the state have been inducted as TB LGA LCDA champions and ambassadors to end the disease in the state. Office of First Lady Lagos Steering Committee for TB was also inaugurated at the event held at the Lagos House Ikeja with Dr. Abimbala Mabogunje as chairman. Pharmacist Titilala Udunuga, secretary, and the wife of the governor, Ibija Kesonolu, as advisor. Speaking at the event, wife of the Lagos State governor and Lagos State tuberculosis champion and ambassador, Ibija Kesonolu, urged the inductees to put machinery in motion within 48 hours to create awareness and advocacy to change the dynamics of TB prevention in Lagos State. I do a lot share ideas. We have put up some uh, roll-up banners and some of the mediums that you can use. Roll-up banners might be very expensive. So we can start with maybe drawings in the schools. We can start with cartoons. Some of you are very good in drawing cartoons or your children or your brothers or something. So you can start small and grow big. The role that you really have to play has been spelled out you have ready for a set. But one of the rules is advocacy. Commissioner for Health, Akin Abayami, noted that out of 32,000 people with TB in Lagos State, 15,000 have been diagnosed, while over 15,000 are yet to be identified according to the World Health Organization. There are people living with us in community who have active TB that we have not diagnosed. And those are the 15,000 that First Lady is mandating you to find and bring them into the treatment facilities, which, as you have heard, is totally free. In a lecture titled Ending Tuberculosis in Lagos, a necessity to end in TB globally, Dr. Nushala Shokoya noted that 2.9 million TB cases have been recorded globally, while Nigeria contributes 6% and highest in Africa, with risk factors including dirty environment, overpopulation, and poverty. Tuberculosis is an airborne disease that is transmitted when individuals inhale the bacilli expelled into the air by infected and untreated TB patients, which mostly affect the lungs, brain, kidneys, joints, bones, skin, abdomen, amongst others. The Lagos State Drivers Institute, last year, has flagged off its 2024 Ember Month Safety Advocacy with a call on motorists to adhere to traffic rules and regulations to protect their lives, passengers, and vehicles. The advocacy took place at Ujudubaja Motor Park. Speaking at the event with the theme, Road Safety, Collective Responsibility for Economic Sustainability, the general manager of Lashtri, Afusat Tiamu, stated that the program was designed to promote safer driving practices and educate the public on road safety issues targeting members of road transport workers, unions, and other stakeholders in the state. They know that our coming here every year is not for you. It's just for them to know. You know, majority of them, because of the nature of their job, they say hey, they cannot leave our vehicle, we cannot come to offices. We brought the, the messages to them. And the thing is that, uh, what even the number of uh, people can see, we have database. The last time we came, they don't even know the importance of driver education. When we look at the number of drivers that has uh, come up for training our agencies, uh, it has multiplied. On his part, area commander of the Ikeja Command for Lagos State Vehicle Inspection Service, VIS, Taufik Ayani, 
noted that as the year comes to an end, there's typically an increase in traffic volume along with the rise in road traffic violations. Only said the infractions include road violation, excessive speeding, dangerous driving, improper overtaking, overloading, driving under the influence of alcohol, driver fatigue, and using a phone while driving. Most road accident is always caused by human error. And how do you reduce it? Use your seat belt. Make sure that if you want to receive any phone calls, you park your vehicle so that you won't have this distracting driving. Don't take hallucinating drugs that will cause accidents. Have a good knowledge of the road signs. Have a good knowledge of the road signs and a good knowledge of the state traffic law in any state that you go to. With that, you'll be able to reduce it at least to a greater percent. The general manager, Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, Lasma Olalikon Bakariuki, who was represented by the area commander of Lima, Ujudubaja, identified the need to be trained properly so that the rate of accidents and carelessness on the roads can be reduced and prevented. Lagos State Task Force has apprehended 28 notorious miscreants in Mile 2, Alabarago, Festac, Apapa, and its surrounding areas. The arrested group, popularly known as Omotaku, has long been a menace to innocent motorists, forcing them to part with large sums of money when their vehicles break down on the highway. Chairman of the agency, Adeta Yorakirili, said the operation marks a significant step in the right direction, ensuring relief for motorists and residents who have undergone so much trauma as a result of the activities of these criminal elements along the highways. The tax force chairman urged residents to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity through the See Something, Say Something initiative as collaboration between the public and the agency remains key to keeping the city safe, serene and habitable. The Minister of Works, David Umahi, has directed the contractor handling reconstruction of the Lagos Abelkota Expressway project to make use of concrete pavement. Umahi, who gave the directive during an inspection of ongoing emergency repairs of seven kilometers stretch of the road within Lagos State, said the Ogun State section of the road is already being handled by the Ogun State government. The minister said concrete pavement would address the threat of water to an asphalt pavement, assuring that funds would soon be released for completion of repairs of the remaining 11 kilometer stretch. Umani asked the contractor handling the emergency repairs to concentrate on deploying stone basement and reopening to traffic while asphalt can be laid by mid November. The nation for this road has been to use concrete, and it looks that the investor insisted on using asphalt. But my coming here today has reinforced my belief and my conviction that. What we will use here will be concrete. If the investor will not use concrete, it should go out of the road. Ensure that due diligence is already in progress for comprehensive reconstruction of the expressway. In her remarks, the Federal Controller Works, Lagos, Ulukarede Keisha, appreciated the Minister of Wealth intervention to bring soccer to the sufferings encountered by users of the Lagos Sabarakota Expressway. Before now, this place was impassable. Like I told in the news the last time, it was drum holes, not potholes, and it was impassable. But with your directive sign, the contractor went to sites, and we can see that life is being restored back to the highway. It looks as if nothing happened before. Our correspondent, Abiola Fagulago, reports that the Lagos outbound U-turn to Sungwater stretch of the Lagos Abelkota Expressway has become deplorable for close to eight years due to insufficient contract funding and constitute a nightmare to users of the road before the current intervention. To the rest of the stores, the federal government has approved Dangote Refinery as the exclusive supplier of aviation fuel, also known as Jet AI, for Nigeria's airline operators. Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kiyamu, 
What's this idea you start in an interview? Said this move comes as, as an opportune time following the federal government's recent implementation of a narrow for crude oil agreement with Dangote. Kayabo emphasized that this arrangement will help alleviate the pressure on Nigerians' foreign exchange. He added that sourcing petrol from the refinery would shield airline operators from the impact of crude oil price fluctuations, ultimately reducing the operational cost. Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo has threatened to sell any shop or plaza closed on Mondays in compliance with the seat at home order initially declared by the indigenous people of Biafra. Soludo issued the warning during an inspection tour of the main market in Unicha, where he expressed his displeasure over a large number of locked shops and plazas. The governor warned that any trader a business that refuses to open on Monday would face severe penalties, including the sealing of shops for up to one month. Stressing that persistent closure of business on Monday will damage the local economy, he assured the traders that adequate security measures would be in place to protect them, urging them to resume full commercial activities on Mondays. Since IPOP declared the seat at home in 2021 to protest the extraordinary rendition of its leader, Nandi Kanu, the exercises continue to disrupt businesses, activities in the southeast, despite IPOP's official suspension of order. And in foreign news, the United Kingdom has offered dozens of stranded migrants held for years in a camp on secretive UK-US military island in the Indian Ocean, a temporary move to Romania. After six months, they could be moved to the UK, while others in the group are being offered financial incentives to go to Sri Lanka, where they say they face persecution. In 2021, dozens of Tamils became the first people ever to claim asylum on Diego Garcia after their boat ran into trouble. The territory's unusual status led to a long legal dispute with the UK government saying bringing them to Britain risks creating a backdoor migration route. Officials of Foreign Office said relocating the most vulnerable migrants with illegal claims are processed while offer. Officials of the Foreign Office said relocating the most vulnerable migrants while their legal claims are processed will offer them greater safety and well being. And in sport, Super Eagles interim coach Augustin Guava says a side will not underestimate the Mediterranean Knights of Libya. The Nigerians will host Nasir Al Adi's side in 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match day three encounter at the Gatwin Akpabio International Stadium, Rio Aquabum State, on Friday. Agravo noted that the team's focus is the game in front of it as the players will fight for the three point. The Super Eagles currently top Group D with four points from two games, while Libya occupies the bottom spot in the group with one point from the same number of matches. <music> Just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Tolo administration constructed watch towers with alarm bells and perimeter fences in model colleges? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. government chairman and wives of local government chairmen across the 57 local government areas of the state have been inducted as TB, LGA, LCDA champions and ambassadors to end the disease in the state. The federal government has approved Dangote Refinery as the exclusive supplier of aviation fuel 
also known as Jet AI, for Nigeria's airline operators. We also told you that United Kingdom has offered dozens of stranded migrants held for years in a camp on a secretive UK-US military island in the Indian Ocean, a temporary move to Romania. And in sport, Super Eagles interim coach Augustin Eguavo said his side would not underestimate the Mediterranean Knights of Libya. News from Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the news broadcast compiled by Adewale Uluwoporoku. I am Sarah Adesonya. Thank you for listening and God bless you.